Oh, oh, there you go. Hi. Oh, there we go. So there's three of them. She doesn't look too impressed, does she? <laughs> Can I see your babies? Good morning and welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. It is morning feeding time. Sun's out. Uh, sun's out on Sunday, so we haven't seen that in a little while. We got some new bottles. Uh, Tara was looking for some new bottles. Of course, she couldn't find them. I think she may have given some away. Um, but uh, we jumped on Amazon and they were here in like two days. So <laughs> that works great. Uh, so we're gonna go in and bottle feed the little ones and feed the others. I hear the babies. Always so excited. There you go. This is yours, Tuck. <laughs> uh, so these um, new bottles, we do, they have a different nipple on them. They're like a concave tip. And um, they seem to be working. We always cut them a little bit larger because these are meant for zero plus uh, like newborn babies essentially and these guys require a little bit more <laughs> flow little more than, uh, than that so but Carla's so not spilling hers yeah Carla's usually the first one to finish up Tucker's a little slower um, so Tucker has what 10 ounces yep and Carla has eight. eight. Yeah. Carla's staying pretty small. So we've, we've had this before where runts will remain fairly small. Tucker's growing. If you remember uh, a month or so ago, Tucker was uh, smaller than Carla. So he's, uh, he's really coming along. She just blows you away when it comes to the bottle, too, Tuck. <laughs> Those little tails. So another thing is these, uh, these nipples, the way they're designed and the way we've cut them, uh, they seem to be getting the feed. They're, they're a little bit slower than what the other ones were, but um, that, that's a good thing. It takes a little bit longer, but what was happening before was Carla was, um, I think, getting too much. Spitting out the side. Yeah, it was coming out the side. and Less then she control. Would, she would stop and she would cough a little bit and then jump back on the nipple. But uh, I think these ones... Um, <laughs> Work, uh, work really well. There we go. One down. She's usually the faster one. Looks like Tucker's got three or four ounces left, two or three ounces. I guess maybe they're about the same speed. It's just he has a little bit more, maybe. <laughs> She's like, eh, you got any more for me? It's not as bad as no. before. Yeah. Um, she's on a little bit more now because you were doing like six ounces, right? Yeah. You opened her up to uh, and she to had eight some ounces. spillage. Yeah, and some spillage. So she's pretty content now. She used to bug Tucker once she was yeah. done her bottle. When they, you want to see the, we, I, I refer to it as the milk drunk. Yeah. When they just where stand they just there. stand there <laughs> like that. <laughs> Digesting that yeah. warm milk. Good oh. job. Oh, there we go. So 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. 10 and 8 ounces. Mm -hmm. Here's Perseus. He had, um, what was, he was, uh, had we little... had put him in here because he had a little bit of a cold. Yeah, he had a little but, cold. Uh, so he he's... didn't go on the last petting farm. So, oh, there's the pigeon. Oh, which, what's the story with the pigeon? 
No, I couldn't fly. It was at a... Oh, a right. It came in. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, pigeon that couldn't fly was brought in. Um, and we think maybe it hit something, flew into something. Because when it came in here, uh, it was in a dark box, transported in a dark box. And when it came in here, um, opened up the dark box and it flew. So usually what happens is when birds run into something, they get all you know, messed up and, uh, and confused, dazed and confused. And uh, by putting the animal into a dark place, it kind of lets them rest a little bit uh, and then um, able to return back to normal. Sometimes sooner than later. Are you gonna fly? Can you show us? Release it out and it'll most likely go back to where it was. Yeah, it'll probably go back. Hey, okay. there you go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll take and release it back outside and it'll either stick around or it will um, go home. Okay, Penny. How do we get, oh, it's a slide. <laughs> Penny had her babies. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> These are uh, guinea fowl, aren't they? Uh, no, they're, sorry, they're um, ceramas. Yeah, we think, because the only rooster in there was the cerama rooster. Yeah, so we're so thinking we these are cerama. So either Perseus's kids or the frizzle, uh, some Here, let's see, Mama. She'll let you take them. Here, let me see one. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. Oh. There we go. So there's three of them. So, <laughs> there we go. Go back to Mama. Oh, there you go. Where's Piper? Right, climb underneath there, stay warm. <laughs> All right, so the other babies that uh, we uncovered outside, we have a Muscovy here. She doesn't, she doesn't look too impressed, does she? <laughs> Can I see your babies? I hear you have some babies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. See, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Very protective mama. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We just want to see your babies. No, no harm. Okay, we'll leave you to it. Yes. Yes, you're very scary and we want to, we don't want to get attacked by you, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so those are the babies. Come on in, guys. Is Jasper out back? Yeah. Yeah, Jasper's been going out back now that the, uh, the grass is longer. He's spending more time outside. The other day when it was raining, he was hanging out in the rain. We had to go out and tell him to come in like a little child. <laughs> Oh, and look at the mud. <laughs> uh, this has always kind of been a low spot. Trying to figure out how the water is to flow. Uh, if you remember a few years ago, we had a culvert here that ran out that way, or actually not a culvert, it was just a swale, a ditch. But it wasn't, uh, wasn't flowing very well, so we decided to do it this way and bring it down and make the swale along this side, which seems to be better. But um, because there's no grass or anything that grows here, because this is a trampled area, uh, it the, the, there's no roots there to hold everything together like it would if, if it was a grassed area. So it just kind of remains muddy. I'll bring this shovel in. Uh, pull it back. Yeah. Come so on, Jasper! Over there. Where it's higher, of course, you can start to see grass that's growing there, which is great. And that holds things together. So I think this is always just going to be a lower spot. Come on, Jasper! Come on, bud! And then, of course, we've got to get in here and rearrange the bird pen and uh, dig a hole for our hydro pole that's got to move from there 
over to there. Uh, but to, of course, to get the tractor in here, uh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit until things kind of dry out, because that'll just be a soupy mess. Oh, here he comes. Jasper, come on, it's dinner time for breakfast. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> he just, uh, he's like, what? Are you talking to me? So you can see here it flows out there and then it goes through Sheldon's pen and out to the front. Come on, Jasper. Come and get it. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, now your feet are all muddy. <laughs> Get your little booties on, your mud booties. Okay, I get it, Tink. <laughs> on in. Oh, inside. Oh, Piper's coming out. Ooh, ooh, uh. And looks like Petey's done. And Tinker wants to go in. <laughs> Tinker, come on. Out you go. <laughs> She's getting, she gets food, but at the right time. Well, yeah. There's a timing. Time and place for everything, Tinker. Got to let the old, the old guys come out. <laughs> Piper, are you getting old? Yeah, there we go. Oh, sit oh, pretty. There we go. Oh, oh no. What did you do? A little brain it? slow. What's that? Well, I, tip, I put it down and, and she flipped it over. Oh. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> so she flipped it out. She was a little too excited. <laughs> okay, yeah. there we go. They know. Yeah, the pigs are out to the mud. <laughs> oh, he found some grains there along the edge. Eh, not good enough. They're not seasoned enough with the mud, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Bronwyn. Oh my God. Good so morning. Nice Are you all done, Tinker? Oh, good stuff. Okay, go play. Uh, no, that's all. That's it. There's no more. Plenty for everyone, Holly. <laughs> you can hear the crunching. Crunching of the grains. Now, of course, when feeding uh, goats, especially rumen animals, grains, you always want to give them a small amount. Uh, not a container that they can um, eat a lot of all at once because they will swell up and um, can cause uh, can cause what's called bloat which is fatal uh, so by giving them an amount and spreading it out uh, allows them to eat it slower and um, not run into any issues oh Sheldon Oh, the kids are, it's like the kids are grabbing the little grains too. <laughs> so they're going to be, um, the boys, I think we have two boys here. Um, we're going to have to um, band them 
Uh, so that'll take place actually coming up. So eight to ten weeks is when you want to uh, you band them or fix them. Um, and I think we've got uh, Joey and um, ja uh, Jax. Is it just Joey and Jax that's the boys? We don't have any other boys, do we? Joey. Jazz, that's it. Jazz and Joey have been adopted. Yeah. So they'll they have a home uh, when they're ready. And that is their names have changed. It'll take a while. Uh, Pablo <laughs> is Joey. And Jazz. <laughs> Quan. Uh oh boy. Tavi. Yes. <laughs> Quant Pablo and Quantavius. I think I'm right. <laughs> so we said, okay, give me a break. It's uh, going to be Pablo and Quan. Quan but I yeah. think it's Quan. Okay. Yeah. And are they being fixed? Yeah, we'll they're fix them, yeah. which needs to be done soon. Well, I know. That's what I was just saying. And they're so also going to take ten. little John. So the oh, little three right. boys that's can stay together. That's the third one. Okay. I was thinking there maybe was a third one. Yeah, little yeah. John. And nice. the three of them will stay together. And little John gets to keep his name. Okay, good, good. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go in here? All right, the kids Jasper. are out here. Jasper. This is their playpen during the day, just to keep them away from the rowdies, because uh, especially Tucker, uh, the mama goats were um, not particularly fond of lambs being around their kids for some reason. So, you know, you're different. You can't play with our children. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, so we've got Carla and Tucker out here, uh, and they're quite happy out here. Yeah, Carla's had a little bit of a, a hiccup, but... Well, she's just slow growing. Well, she went, she reverted back, um, um, a little bit of loose stool, and you know, like just made me, hmm. So she had a little bit of a weak spell there, dropped a little weight instead of caring but she's back up now but it's uh, uh you do you do your best and the grass yeah. has grown wow yeah since this rain. no it is with all this rain we've yeah, had lots to... so last weekend was a long weekend here in manitoba and we often do petting farm events uh mobile petting farm events during the summer months and the first one we did uh this year well, we did an old folks home, I think, uh, earlier on, but this was the big, uh, the bigger outdoor ones that we do. Uh, it was a gymnastics club that was putting on an event, and uh, Tara and Tiana took the kids into the city, and they had a blast. Now, uh, with these mobile petting farms, it really helps the kids to bond with humans and not be so uh, skittish. Um, so they see that, you know, we have rules, there's no picking up, there's no hand feeding. Uh, we watch that, Tara's really good uh, keeping an eye on, especially, especially all the little kids that, that have those little grabby hands. Uh, so they just get better and better every, uh, every farm that we go to, every mobile farm. Uh, so Tiana took some photos, uh, some cute photos. There was a uh, police officer uh, who really wanted to hold a goat. And of course, when you talk about, uh, oh, do you want to hold the, and they, you know, even the biggest guy will melt <laughs> and, and turn into the, the biggest child. It's kind of cute. Uh, but there was um, the police officers. Uh, there was uh, some princesses that were in there. Uh, there was even Spider-Man showed up uh, to the uh, to the party. <laughs> so uh, a lot of people got to hold goats. The kids and the the people uh, alike uh, really enjoyed uh, enjoyed it. So it was a uh, it was a hit. Oh look at this! Somebody's like relaxing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's lying out flat. Hi. Oh, you're laying on the cool concrete. Are you? Yeah. Can we see your babies? Oh, okay. They are getting bigger. Get out of the light here. There we go. Oh, oh look at that. Hi. Eyes are open. So, 
We have the nine little babies. Yeah, and you guys are all just nice and soft. Here, come here. Oh, oh, and squirmy. And squirmy. Here. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Good mama. Yeah. So if you're uh, new to our channel, uh, we had some rescues come in and um, there were two rabbits, a male and a female. And the night they came in, of course, we separated uh, Mama from, uh, from the male. And uh, she gave birth to these guys that night. So uh, maybe it, it could have been the extra stress in moving and moving. And, but everything worked out well. Uh, she lost one of them. One of them was a stillborn. But um, all nine others are doing great. Hi. <laughs> this is the time where you want to, you actually want to handle them so that they stay friendly. Uh, if they're not handled, then they, um, they're not as friendly. Hey? Yeah, hi. Hi. Yes, because you've never seen a human before, have you? No. Especially with your eyes just opening. So when there's one, maybe two pure white ones. Yeah, they got pink eyes too. The pink eyes? Oh, 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 oh there you go. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so we think um, part uh, New Zealand and maybe part Rex. Hi. Okay, don't explore too much. Go back to your siblings. <laughs> don't want to disturb your nap. Yeah, and then there's another white one that's in there too. Cuddled all up. Except for this one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, find a spot. Jump right on top. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> Just sleep on top of your brothers and sisters. Yeah, he's the, uh, I don't know if it's a he, but I'll call him a he. He's the, ex he's the exploring one, obviously. He's like, ah, I don't want to go to bed. Mom lets me stay up late, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Okay. All right. Well, there they are. So they are now, uh, what, two weeks? Just over two weeks, I think? Because they came in on a Thursday. Or fr they came in on a Thursday, so they were born on a Thursday night, and it's now Sunday. Yeah, so it's two. They're two and a half weeks old. Usually, the eyes open around ten days. Okay, so out here we've got this crab apple tree that ornamental, uh, crab. ornamental, ornamental. Okay, um, so Thunder. look look at it now because it will be gone probably next weekend. They come out, they bloom. I saw a couple in the city. Called a thunder child ornamental crab. A thunder child. Yeah. Okay. But the animals love the, the crab apples so much. Yeah, yeah. So when they uh, when they grow and fall oh. off, um, there's some that fall off in there and the animals just eat them up. And then we usually um, will rake them or people can, people that visit come can pick them up and throw them in um, and uh, the animals can enjoy them. This is weird. Normally when this tree is blooming, it is humming with bees. Yeah. So if today or tomorrow the bees don't show up. Then might not get any fruit. Might not get any fruit. Yeah. Well, and it has been rainy. So we'll They'd watch. They'd have to show up today or tomorrow. Yeah, we'll watch for it. Yeah, see if we get any fruit this Usually year. it's humming with yeah, bees. Yeah, I know. I Here went. don't go near it. It was a couple years ago, I went with my camera. Oh, it was probably 10, 15 years ago. And I, um, I stood right in, right in there and took some uh, macro shots. I wanted to get that perfect shot of the bee uh, going in. And I did get a pretty good shot. Uh, so, but when I was standing there, it was just, it was just buzzing all around me. Oh, these bottles fit better in my pocket. They fit better. Yeah, oh, that's they good. better in my pocket. Good all around. <laughs> okay, so the ponies. Oh, yeah, that's how much water we got last night. Just last night? Yeah, well, yesterday. Yeah, yes, well, yesterday. That's, that's four a, inches. Yeah, four inches or so. That's a fair amount. Yeah, it rained and rained. 
Oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, well, it's, a lot of it's probably coming off the top, I would imagine. Are they out and about? Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to give them, look at that yeah. grass out there. Yeah. yeah, look at how long it is. So they have plenty of grass. Yeah. Uh, well, same thing happened last year. I they, noticed there was a lot of as grass. As ponies, they have pr plenty of grass because when you get in there, yes, it looks nice and lush, but it's sparse. Like, oh yeah, it's yeah. starting. I got uh, uh, grass seed coming, and we'll you know try to up the amount because but you right now watch, we can sustain ponies. You want to watch ponies too because they can right. founder. Yes. So you don't want them on the thick, lush, the, yeah. lush grass. But, so. I mean, they got plenty to... Okay, yeah, I imagine they're up front, so we'll leave them as such. Yeah, we've got to clean out this building here. Again, waiting for the, uh, the ground to dry out a little bit. Uh, we'll get to that, and I think what <laughs> our plan one. is... Look at the grass. Oh, yeah. There. That's what he said. Yeah. And you it's higher, it so if the grass grows, it'll become more solid. Yeah, yeah. The roots will hold it all together. So, yeah, well, I, we want to move this building. over and raise it up slightly. And then this tree, I think, has got to come down. We want to get rid of that tree as well to open this up. It's just too close. And of course, the power lines, well, this tree's completely gone. So <laughs> yeah, and so was that one. So, we want to cut out those two. And probably one other one that's just a little bit high right behind it. Uh, just because those are our power lines that run through. And we don't want to have any issues with that. Yeah. Okay, kids. Enjoy the day. Oh. And enjoy the milk. <laughs> Joey and Jazz, or whatever their names are. <laughs> Pablo and Quan. <laughs> Quantavius. <laughs> oh, Sheldon likes these trees. He'll jump up on the fence. Out there growing. And he keeps it. You can see how nicely trimmed they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't choke on it. <laughs> uh, oh, mommy trims her trees. Yeah. There we go. All right, you do it. There you go. Oh, well, Holly, you got to get into it. Sheldon's getting all the good stuff. Oh, there we go. Well, Let me throw you one. Okay, so that's it for the video. Uh, a little look at the morning feed this morning uh, and the new babies and yes, uh, the sun. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I guess you Americans to the south, uh, you're having a long weekend this weekend. We had ours last weekend. So enjoy your and long weekend. somebody's birthday's coming. Somebody's. He knows who he is. Oh, okay. Okay, happy birthday, somebody. <laughs> All right, until next video, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.